Hello everybody and welcome back to Ever After Falls where we're currently 8 days, 12 days but the blue motto is ready but we're currently still working on these giant lotuses because I really really want I really really want one to turn out into a, a proper giant lotus oh gee these are all meant to be blue none of them are blue right so I need to get my old fishing rod out and we need to replace these ones. Let's not mess it up. Also, I could do with making sure my lotus necklace is on before we even start. Because otherwise I'll forget. At this point, I'd almost rather die in the dungeons than mess up my lotus flowers. That's how important this is to me right now. So we'll put some new ones in. And we'll see how they turn out. What colour they turn out to be. I think these ones are all new. I think the I think those three might all be blue at this point. I think that one's blue as well. Those two, and I think all of those are peach. So I think that's all okay. I've no idea what they're going to end up being. Hopefully some of them will be yellow. And these are all going to be yellow as well. Because for some reason we ended up having two sets of yellow. If I end up with a ton of pink ones over here, then I might just switch them over. Like, if a load of these come out pink, I might just be like, okay, pink is the way we're going to go with that. So, yeah, that's that's how we'll do. Um, I can run around and see if there's any more about. Right, quest-wise, um, we need to catch a squid still for Edgar, but that'll come when it comes. And we need an ion sphere for Cedric. Neither of those are particularly... I'm particularly worried about. Um, and we're also looking to earn 12,000 to make an iron sword with. So maybe a whole bunch of fishing might be good for that. Uh, and by iron sword, I mean gold sword, obviously. So how about we start by putting on some gold? Beautiful. Then I'm going to send my... My little, I love this ability, by the way. It's an amazing ability. Send him off with all his... With all the stuff to sell. Oh, Miriarko, off he goes. And then I don't have to worry about anything myself. Hmm. No room for the blue martos. I think I will take the eggs out then. I've used all of the other... Ugh, I'll put them in there with all those tree saps, I guess. I need to put the seeds in their own chest. I really feel like that's important. At the moment, the house is okay size-wise, but I think a, an up upgrade would be good. Oh, palm fruits are starting because it's the first day of spring now. Ah, good, good, good. So we can. there's going to be a few juices that I'll need to keep an eye out for. Also, probably tomorrow, Freya will have a new quest for us. Mulberries as well. That's a juice that we didn't have so far uh, as well. Uh, I'm going to... Actually, while I'm not doing dungeon stuff, and I think it would be a good idea really to get a gold sword before we really start on like progressing through the dungeon much more. Because we're going to start hitting bosses and we're going to start needing that extra power. So what I'm going to do in the meantime is increase my... Uh, and take these guys out. And we're going to activate their inventory slots. I would also, before I do too much more in the dungeon as well, I, one thing I would really like to do is to try and get some blue drone parts going. Uh, but blue drone parts, I think, needed something that I didn't have. Was it something like ion spheres or something like that? Arcane shard. I've got some of those. I've got a few of those, actually. So, yeah, we are able to do that now. Ion shards for the red drone part. And then a phantom sphere in Everite for the gold. So, the, so the, the red and the blue are quite doable. Okay, that's a thing I might do today, then. I'll make some drone shards. And then maybe we can have extra inventory and shoot lasers. Or heal and shoot lasers. I don't know exactly what the drone parts do, but let's just go make some. So I'm going to need arcane shards. 
which I'm certain I have in my gem chest, which is this one. Yes. Uh, and some ion shards. So I've only got enough ion shards for one. Uh, although I should probably go and check the sprites because they might have given me some more already. But um, let's see, shall we? What is it? Iron bars as well. Cop five copper bars. Ah, I might not have five copper bars. I have one copper bar. And a quartz panel. Okay. Got quartz panels. I've got gold bars. So I actually might be able to make the red one first. Let's have a look. It's going to be ages before I've got 12,000 to upgrade the sword. So I may as well see what else I can upgrade in the meantime. Um, all right. So red drone part. Oh, quartz panel and gold bar. What? Did I not take them out? Right, okay. Red drone part. Increase effectiveness by one, increase effectiveness by two. Okay. I certainly can't make the gold one, so if I can make red, then maybe I don't need to make blue. Let's see what, what, what the deal is. Um, so I'll take the... Uh, if I can find the right way. There we are. Take you out. I'll attach. Yeah, so we can have two things. Okay, so if I go just plainly straight up for inventory slots. And let's have a quick look at how that works. Gives me an idea of what this red upgrade does. Ooh. Wow. That's some serious inventory slots. Mm-hmm. So maybe trying to find more uh, ion shards might be a good idea. I'm just going to go and check on the sprites a sec. Uh, just a minute. The other thing is, like, with the... parts so I can attach two parts so in theory I could attach two gold ones but it'd be better if I could have as many red ones as possible because that gives two extra and so I imagine I'd be able to choose another two extra if I had another red part attached so we might even be able to go up to five on those ah okay well this is a good time so let's see if we've got any more of these ion shards in the uh, in the box? At this point, I'm not really caring about the museum. This is such an upgrade. We do. Ah, we've got enough for another one. So I can either put on the other drone, or I can see what happens when you put two on one drone, which is kind of what I think I'm going to do for now. So I can make another one. Oh, this is so good. Attach parts. Yeah. So you can't go above three. But what you can do is put them into other things. Oh, okay. You can't go above three on the inventory slots. But you can go up to like five lasers or five healing aura. Wow. It's 
So yeah, you kind of have to choose it like that, I think. So you're choosing that, 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 and that. Okay. Well, that drone is doing wonderfully. Um, I kind of want to go and get more ion shards now. Uh, but I also want to do fishing because we do need to get a squid. Part of me just wants to go and test this guy out now. All right, let's... Uh, Put you back in. Double upgraded amazingness. So I'd like to do that with the other one as well. Now the one thing that I'm thinking actually to maximize inventory space um, is if we took that one out, took that one out. Why can't I take that one away? Oh, it's got something in its inventory. Okay. So if I go to attach parts and take this away. And then I go into the other drone um, and I attach parts. So let's equip this drone so that I can use its inventory. And then I unequip this drone. I attach parts. And then I attach that and give that triple the inventory space. So that's giving them max inventory space. And if I give them more upgrades, I can also give them extra attack and healing and stuff. We will never run out of inventory space ever again now. For the next 10 minutes. Yeah. Look at that inventory space! Ah! Wonderful! Alright, let's um, maybe grab the rest of the stuff out of here. Now, my issue with um, making the spheres is that I needed more of the... And we are going to gather it over time, but I, I, I need to just not worry about it for now. Um, this fire sap. Once I have enough of that we'll be able to make some more fire essence and then we can just go from there with it. That's fine for now. We also need to try and find ourselves a moonstone. So that'll be interesting. But yeah, we're not going to run out of inventory space for ages now with the fish and stuff. We can go fishing and not have to worry about it. So it'd be nice if I could get some more ion shards. Because the next time I'll get another three of them and we get them like basically daily from the sprites because I've put one on one of the rocks. So then we'll be able to just like do extras. It'd be amazing. And it's spring, so it's mulberry season, and yeah, life is good. The lotuses are coming along slowly but surely. They're just an exercise in patience, really, aren't they? To be honest. Um, so mulberries. I save those up until I can make a mulberry juice for the museum. But I do still need to find out where I where I get avocados from. That one, that one there. That's what's bringing bringing me the arcane shards and things every day. That dude. Just in case you didn't know, because you're this is the first episode you've. Oh, by the way, playlists are fixed. I I'm so sorry. YouTube for a while. And I have a feeling this is why the views were starting to decrease on the ch on the uh, playlist as well. But um, it was going newest to old. Ooh, that looks new. It was going like newest to oldest for the longest time. So basically, it started here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Why did you just randomly start putting them the other way around? I have no clue. Why, YouTube? I just add them in as I go, and normally it just adds them in the same order, but it just randomly decided to flip it. Not helpful. Oh, I'll take your fishing challenge, Calvin. I will indeed. A pink honeycomb. You're not having that. Oh, actually, maybe you could have that for 1,980, actually. <laughs> 
I, I might part with one for that amount of money, since they're only worth like 400 each. Um, an unordinary stone to Hersher. Mm -hmm. mm, I never know about that, really. But mining for Bram, absolutely. So they're much better than they were last episode. Last episode we had pants quests. And that is a technical term. Oh, a treasure chest, which I happen to have a rather fancy key for. Okay. See, what I want as well is the pet upgrade, and then I'd have eight pet inventory slots as well as all these drone inventory slots. It'd be amazing. It's like having a real actual inventory now, isn't it? Instead of like a rubbish, tiny restricted one that's no good. One that I can sometimes leave things in and not have to worry. Where was where was this when I needed sardines? <laughs> when when all I needed was a couple of sardines. Where were you? Where's Calvin then? Let's have a look at the map. Below me to the south a little bit. Okay. I think everyone's fishing because it's like, I think rainy weather might be good for fishing. Yeah, it was pretty quick. Spend your gold in my store. I'm glad you're helping repopulate the town aquarium again. You're doing a great job. Oh, thanks, Calvin. I've done, I've got quite a lot of new fish. I've got a new one to put in there today, actually. Wonder if I'll get anything special when I do actually repopulate the entire aquarium. I'm great at everything in this game with the exception of meal quest. <laughs> meal quest is just like that is my nemesis right now. When Hersha like writes to me and says, Hey, come do meal quest, I'm like ah, Yeah. Sure, Hersha. Sounds great. <laughs> Dragonfly nymph. Oh, it's only a small one though, so that'd be a small dragonfly. I like when I get the giant ones. They're more fun. So I'm thinking tomorrow I might just go into the mines and like do the mining for Bram thing and also maybe test out my my new lasers. Maybe I will reduce the um well, reduce the amount of inventory space on the drones in return for some laser pew pew. But for something like a fishing day, it's really good. But I do, I think I do need to change it about based on what I'm doing that particular day, so. I don't know if that one is going to come and say hi or whether we're a little bit far away for it. In fact, if I just moved over here, I'll probably get him. Can't really see very well, though. Oh, there we are. Ooh, new fish again. Being able to fish for so much longer because of the extra inventory space I've got is actually really helpful. It's an orange fish. Uh, we, we've got four more spaces, so two more fishing actions, and then I do need to head away. Uh, it means there'll be more to sell. It means that there'll be... More chances of getting new fish. Really. I'm actually tempted just to take that one away. Yes, that's awful. That's so bad. One puny shell and a ballerina fish. Luckily that one moved a bit, so that's good. Ooh, a nice big tadpole. Good, good. I always like anything that will give me extra frogs and dragonflies, even if it's just a chance that they might be a new one. All right, so let's head by SIDS and sell a few bits and bobs. And then we'll head by the aquarium and then finally I'll pop away the 
tadpoles and things like that. Um, I don't. I think at the moment the terrariums are full. Well, I'm not 100% on that. And I'll put away all the things like phantom shards and things like that. And so we'll we'll kind of semi prepare ourselves for going into the mines tomorrow. But I'm quite pleased with this. The only thing I'm not to sell at the moment is the um, squid. I don't believe I got a squid. Oh, Peach Tail Snapper, you'll do. I'll sell the shells as well. I don't even use them as fast as I should, to be honest. Orange bubbly -obly -o. Other than that, we're keeping everything. I've got an ordinary stone. Do you know what? I feel like I want to give that to Hersha. I'm going to take the quest for it, I think. Because I'll probably open it and I'll have like a piece of copper inside or something. Do you know what I mean? Like the unordinary stones don't really seem to be giving me a ton anyway, so. Let's just go and take that quest. And if I can go find Hersha, even better. Oh, I went way too far. But what I absolutely do not want to be doing right now is uh, print supplies. I mean, print supplies, uh, let me see, teal ink. A neon bulb fish and an empty bottle. No. It was teal, right? Yeah. No, that's not happening. That's such a specific fish. And if I catch it, I won't, I'll be like, I'll just sell it. I won't even realise. I'll be like, oh, yeah. That's a fish, that's salad. I won't even be like, oh, that's the fish we need for teal ink. I just have to hope I don't need ink for too much stuff. Or at least if I do, it'll be ones with stuff I've got, like gems and things. How much longer on that? A day and eight hours. Right, wonderful. Because... It's almost two grand for that, which is really great. So, 820. Uh, where is Hersha? Hersha Hippo, where are you? In the bakery. Okay. Let's go and hand in the unordinary stone. Those yellow, those yellows are looking great, actually. If I get an extra yellow one, if I end up with two, then one of them can be used to get the, um... Because I'm going to need to pull out one giant lily pad eventually. So that's what that will probably end up getting used for. Uh, hair shirt. This is so much better with this extra inventory space. Oh my goodness me. Ah, oh, you're on your bench today. Lovely. What well, curious stone you have on. Did you bring that for me? Yeah. Eek, it's perfect. I wonder what's inside. Here's your payment. Probably something totally rubbish. If uh, my usual experiences with these things are anything to go by. Piece of marble or something. And she's paid like 150 for it. Yep. Right, so to the aquarium next. Oh, I've got a seahorse still to sell. And I could sell those mushrooms as well. Okay. Fairy shrooms can get sold. The... Seahorse can get sold. Everything else gets kept. Let's run round to the aquarium. And put my two fish away. Oh, we're doing great today. I'm super happy. There's a frog somewhere. Where are you, frog? There you are. Are you a new frog? A green tree frog. That is an old frog, but I can sell it. Most things I have at the moment are old. Not new. So to have two new fish is actually pretty huge, considering how rare it is to get new fish right now. Possibly because it's spring, so you're starting to get ones that you don't normally get. So we've got three of the purple fish. We only have one more to get there. Two more cool fish. One more rainbow fish. 
Oh, wow. Three more koi, two more angelfish, and three more ocean fish. And then we've done everything. Wow, that's insane. The conch and the shells and things we're not getting so many of, but we do seem to get shells sometimes when we fish, so I don't know if we'll maybe be able to get those. Not sure on the deal with the shells, but we'll we'll keep trying with the fishing and see what happens. Didn't see any, um, probably because I spent a lot of time yesterday doing stuff like that, or last, last episode. I don't know, we're not putting these out all the time, I'm just putting them out when I have gaps in the schedule and stuff. I can't get that one, but I, most of the other ones I, I did pull. Uh, Spookless will put me to bed in an hour, and also tomorrow... Ooh, that's ready. That looks very new. That's extremely cool. Windstorm Dragonfly. Did I have a little tadpole or something I can pop in there for now? Yes. It's going to be quite fun when all these things that I've been doing over the last few days just all sort of fall into place for me. Uh, so okay, let's just go through these chests and put things in that match. Obviously these guys will. So all my shards there. So I've got like 11 arcane shards. But the iron shards I've only got a couple of because obviously they're what we've been using. Um, I will put the unusual stones and things like that in there as well. Just so that they've got somewhere to live while we're waiting. Oh no. Well it's nearly night time anyway so I can always do a little relog. I don't know why that happens. I wish it wouldn't but you know it does and so we deal. Yeah, good night, bedtime. And then we will go back to the main menu and, and log back in. Four nine five just on random tiny fish and things that I got, so shouldn't be too long to get to twelve K, honestly. Especially once I get like honey and things like that and get a couple of thousand from that. So that means I do need to stay on top of the gold making. Because obviously I spent a lot of it on drones. All right, so now we've got a save. Let's return to title. Pretty sure just returning to title usually does it. It's usually all right after we've done that. So let's get back in there. I don't know what causes it. I have some episodes where it doesn't happen the whole time and then sometimes it just is really bad. I don't know what the what the deal is with it really, but uh, all right, let's put some more things away. So you want to get sold? You want to get kept? Palm fruits? Oh, there's no space for these things. Okay, I'm going to make another chest. I'm going to put it down by the sofa and it's going to be for seeds, I think. I'm getting a bit fed up now. Oh, and Freya's got a seasonal crop quest for me today as well. Wonderful. Oh, I need... I also get... I need stone. Alright, so that is going to be for all of the seed packets because I'm getting fed up with just having no space for them. There's quite a few things that I'm going to be able to do today. And people were saying to me that um, I need the whirlpool juice because apparently it sells for like loads. And yeah, you're quite right. The whirlpools do seem on their own seem to sell for quite a lot. So probably whirlpools and starberries and things could be quite a money maker. Hmm. Good to know. Okay, let's put these in their chest. I don't know if I'd be quicker like dumping everything into the chest and then... Uh, probably not quite. The 
the seeds now have their own chest, which I've been meaning to do for a little while. And, and every time I do that, I'm so happy and grateful and glad. It just looks so much nicer. All right. I know I need a key to open it. I'm going to go get the key. Don't you worry. Don't you worry your pretty little head about it. All right. Um, key, 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 key. I need to keep the, the fire sap. And why am I keeping the pink honeycomb? That needs to go in for the quest, doesn't it? That will get me lots of money. Okay, uh, I was going to make copper because I was going to make blue drone parts, but now I know a little bit more about how they work. That's probably not actually the best use of my drone parts. I, I need to get to red ones and gold ones, really. So the frog needs to get sold. The quartz panels and gold bars need to go back in there. Everything else is getting kept. So off you go and sell that frog because we don't need him anymore. I sometimes still do forget and I go to, I, I realize that I recently did go to SIDS. I was kind of on my way past anyway, but you know, I did forget. Well, actually I can just, and mind you with all of those fish, that would have taken several trips, actually, so it probably was actually better for me to go that way. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. Right, so... Date palms go in there as well. I think I need, like, three of them or something, and then I can make the date juice. That can go into the museum then. And then that can go in there for now, and just every so often once I get a few... I'll go and just bust them all open. Oh wow, got some interesting, rather loud music today. So if I don't adjust that properly and it's a little bit loud, I apologize. Um, so we're mining for brown, we've got 17 rocks to do in two days and a pink honeycomb for Daisy. Right, okay, let's go and see Daisy first then. I also have a quick check on my got a couple more buds growing here. That's peach, so that doesn't actually belong. Or is it pink? No, it's pink. Still, doesn't really belong in the yellow section. It belongs up here in the pink section. And we'll need to go and see Freya as well. And if I see anything on the trees in the meantime, etc., then... Aha, the everberries are back, which means I can... Because people have been saying to me all winter, Oh, yeah, you should get more sprites. And I'm like, I wish I could get more sprites. Don't worry, I've seen that butterfly. I wish I could get more sprites, but I can't. That was rather wonderful find. Because that's another brand new thing. I didn't actually mean to come this far. Although, actually, it'd be useful to know whether we've got any, like, ion shards in there. No, we don't. I'm just going to leave it for now, though. There's plenty of room in the chest. And we'll go see if Daisy is down here, hopefully. And that pink honeycomb is ro worth rather a lot to you, isn't it, Daisy, today? That's it. You have what I want to inspect on you. Did you bring that for me? Yes. Great, here's your reward. Thank you for helping me out, Sheila. Oh yeah. I get so much help here at the animal centre. Everyone always drops by to spend some time with the animals, except me. They come here and give all the animals a little cuddle. No one ever gives me a little cuddle though. Oh, Daisy, have a cuddle. Have a cuddle. Have a cuddle. I can't get past your chair though. I'm so sorry. <laughs> What's this? Teleportation stone. Ooh. I might buy that later. At the moment, I'm okay. The map's small enough that I can walk anywhere I want to go, but maybe when the fourth dungeon comes... Apparently, the fourth dungeon's a huge upgrade from the third as well. So I'm like, ooh, that sounds a bit uh, worrying. Yeah, so we've got one, two, three, four, five down, four to go on the yellow one. There's another butterfly. Let's see what you are. Just a common green, but that's fine. It's 
To be fair, we've been quite lucky with the things we've been picking up lately. Uh, the giant tadpole's still in that terrarium. How many days are you going to take? That's ready tomorrow. Nice. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation. Taking a while to go down the chute, aren't they? Cool. So if we look at the butterflies, the giant butterflies are actually coming along really well now. We've got three of them out of six. No, seven. I can't count. <laughs> so we, the thing with the museum that's happening a lot at the moment is we're getting lots and lots and lots of things spread across all the different types. So what's going to slowly start happening is that we'll fill them up and there'll be like one or two left. And then we'll finish a collection and we'll finish a collection and we'll finish a collection and we'll get loads of points all of all of a sudden. It's going to be very cool. Right, so, Mr. Pet. You need to go sell that butterfly. Just keep my inventory nice and, nice and trim. And then we'll go over to Freya's and see her because we totally forgot to do that while we were over by Daisy. I'm not going to lie about that. That's just what happened. Uh, if I find any seed pods, I'll chuck them in places where then there's a hole that needs to be filled. If I do that enough times, it's going to happen. It will. So, Freya, Freya, Freya. This way, I think. But yeah, once the ever berries all have three berries on them, I'll go around, I'll collect all of them up, and we'll go and... Um, Right. What do you want me to do then? I don't know about you, but I'm really glad it's spring. Yeah, it's a bit warmer now, isn't it? There's so many amazing things to grow this season. Why don't you try growing this season? These this season, sorry. Make sure it has plenty of water every day. Bring me one of the res resulting produce. And I'll give you a reward in return. Okay, so what did we get? Um... Say, you don't think Finn has been using his new backflip moves to jump over my garden fence, do you? I mean, I've never seen him actually do it, but... <laughs> Sorry, I clicked through that too quickly. Uh, onion. Okay. Normally I get the seeds. Clearly I have to buy them this time. Onion. I'll buy one onion seed. Rock melon. Certainly something I haven't grown before. That's a spring-only fruit. Uh, turnips are winter and spring. I don't know if I've had turnips. Wheat is certainly something I need. Probably need a few of them. Let's go for five. I've got plenty of watering drones. Chili, I think I'm all right for. Eggplant... I have that in a pot plant, so that's okay. Dombries, I have the seeds at home. Carrots, I think I've already done carrots. Cauliflowers, I have not done though, and I definitely need a couple of those. Uh, sour berries, we've got loads of those, they're already planted. Mulberries, I think we'll be alright for those. Apple, yes, I do need that. But I also, like... Really, really, really don't want to have to plant them <laughs> and spend my money on them. Oh my goodness, you have a strawberry up there. Can I pick it or is it like out of the way too much? Oh, I can't pick the strawberry. What's in this pot though? Oh, it's a potato. Ah, okay. So... I feel I'm two minds about this, but I think I need to buy one. I don't know when I'll get a chance again, you see. Whereas 3,000, 3, I can get that back in, you know, it'll take a few days, but I will get it back. I really, really want my gold sword though. So I'm a bit sad that I'm 3,000 behind on that again. That's like 25% of the cost of it, again. I want to get. So that's a bit annoying. Also need to plant gold and things like that. So anyway, uh, we should do the planting first. So. 
Let's um, make this a bit nicer around here. And I had kind of said that it might be quite nice to move these over a little bit so that I've got room for other things around here if I need. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, yeah, that's fine. I'm just going to pull all that up. going to pull up the drone as well. Now then, I need to remember which one's which. had the parts attached to it. Uh, I don't know. I, I... No, that one has. So that one will be a three by three. So irritatingly, I need to pull that one up as well. I think. Yeah, so that one's got... A, okay, let's just put them back down because that'll give me an idea of where they go. Ah. It's a five by three, isn't it? Okay. So that goes all the way to there. Good to know. be able to just not even worry too much about this. Might have enough spaces just from here. Alright, so let's plant some stuff. Okay, let's see if we've got any other seeds. Um, my sapling will need to be done, and so will my rock melon. Okay, rock melon can go there. And just for the first day, I'll water them. And then I've got like an orange seed around somewhere, so I, what I think I can do with that... tree next to it. So that one's orange. Let's get rid of this grass around here then. And I can plant my apple one. Good stuff. Right, let's do some watering. my planting for the season done which is nice I'm just gonna again just take away some of the grass and weeds and things from around this area to make it look a little bit more like an actual farm as opposed to just an overgrown mess uh, we've got box tree sap over here I've been doing much better for collecting sap and super glue and things since we had the bottle maker that was a good investment I feel Alright then, so we never managed to get mining for Brahm, but we did manage to do the spring seasonal crop. So I'll I'll let that one be. Um, this drone kind of does need to be down somewhere, so that's a 3x3. Three three. So that one will land there basically, and I can put another... I think I can put one on top of the drone as well. 
I can put another field of stuff in there. If I want to. Um, yeah, let's just put things away. Sorry, I can. I still didn't get that many mulberries, did I? Oh, well. That's life, I suppose. Where am I putting all the sap lately? In here, isn't it? And then pine cones in there. And then we're all nicely sorted. And so if I do want to go mining tomorrow, then let's sort the drones out to uh, facilitate that a little bit more. So if we go to attach parts, what I can do is take a little bit out of the inventory and put it into laser attacks and healing auras. I could do something like that. And like that. So now they'll heal me and do a bit of attacking as well, which is great. And we just need to generally go places. And where is my where is my key? Where do I put that? Did I put that in with the equipment? That would make the most sense, and that is exactly what I did. So that's perfect. Just whatever's in there, I want to pop it away. So mostly just bits and bobs. Cool. And we'll put the key itself away, and then I will put the drones back into their slots. So now we've just got, we've still got a good amount of extra space, but they also shoot laser beams from their eyes and heal me. So it's pretty cool. I'm not too unhappy with that. Uh, so I think for today, that's going to be it. And we shall just see what we can do tomorrow. So those drone upgrades were huge. And also getting the apples was really good because I've not found a way to get apples so far. Knowing me, like normally what happens is I plant the tree and then immediately find where I should have found the apples or whatever. If I see an avocado or a, a durian tree, I think I need to buy those as well. So we're just going to have to keep checking Freya's for different trees. More pink honey. So that would have been sellable today. However, it's not because, stick it in there for now. Uh, however, it's not because, uh, because I got, uh, cause I had to give one away, but then that got me like 2000. So it's like, okay, whatever. You're ready, little frog. What kind of frog are you then? You're a frog we've never seen before, a tiny seal frog. That is rather wonderful. I will go and get another frog or something to pop in there. Another tadpole or a little newt or something. Mm. I think a normal sized little tadpole will be fine. We'll keep working on the small frogs for now. The more I work on the same things over and over again, the more likely I am to get the, like, the same thing back. Oh, you've been doing a great job, haven't you? Little Tommy boy. A little, little hard worker, you. Right. We got any, any news on the... We do, we've got that. So let's plant that straight back in because we do need new blue ones, if at all possible. That one's ready as well. Again, that will just get thrown in. And I've got my lotus necklace on. I try to put that on whenever I'm not basically in the dungeon. That's that's my that's my way forward with that. Um, we'll see how that works. You are a tiny little silkworm. Come here. I'm finding a lot more stuff just around the place since this means spring, which is quite nice. Okay, so uh, you can be put away with your friends. I do need to make another silkworm station, although uh, I think we're doing kind of okay for silk right now. Uh, it was early game that we just really struggled for it all the time. Where are we putting eggs nowadays? I have no idea, probably in like the stupidest place possible, yeah. Actually, it could go back in there now because I've 
properly sorted everything out so there's a bit of space which is wonderful and my tiny frog can just stay there until I'm ready to put him in the museum and me and my super cool drones are off on a super cool hunt for super cool stuff whether we'll find anything good I don't know Always checking the beaches if we can. Oh, of course, there's loads of like. I don't know if I can reach them though. Might need a better fishing rod. I certainly won't be able to reach both of them. Yeah, it's not worth it to clog up my inventory when I'm about to go in here. So let's just not worry about that for now. Let's do gathering when we're doing gathering. Let's do mining when we're doing mining, which is right now apparently. I need 17 rocks for Brahm right now, so we'll just keep going. If I see any uh, boss dungeons, we'll maybe try them, but I'm... Um... Ah! Oh, go drones. They're doing an awesome job. Oh, yeah, they would do an even more awesome job if I actually had the right necklace on. Well, like I say, I'd rather not have that necklace on when I need it. <laughs> now because generally with laser attacks and things uh, and equally with the water bolt I believe that they are um, directly correlated to your personal attack I don't know 100% with the drones because it doesn't really tell you much about how it operates but uh, I'm pretty sure the attack they were attacking and doing a tiny bit of damage and then they just went in there and ruffle stomped. So obviously the necklace that I've got that gives me like 20 extra attack, that is hugely powerful and hugely overpowered. <laughs> it's making me like way, way bigger and better than I should be. But also um, my attack power, so my attack power matters for everything. But when I go up to um, a gold sword instead of a iron sword i think the copper sword was something like two times damage iron sword is three times damage i imagine that uh, the gold one would probably be four times which again will be absolutely massive it'll be a really really big thing but yeah having these guys heal me plus have a laser on at the same time is going to make me pretty unstoppable Look at that healing. 72 up to 88. Because Miriako does a bit as well. That's just that's just off the off the charts, that is. That's so good. Can't wait to get the gold one for them, but the gold one has it requires a lot of stuff I just don't have. Like an entire phantom sphere. If I remember rightly. Mithril, Bars, and Everite, and Phantom Swiss. So they're things that I can just about make at the moment, but they'd be a bit of a tough one. There'd be a lot of saving up involved in that. Whereas these look like round ones. They're all round. Oh my goodness. I almost didn't mind them because they were all the same as each other. Normally the way I find these little round ones is by them looking different. But that was a wonderful haul. Ah. They are amazing. They just they just clear the rooms for me at this point. I feel a lot more confident. I would feel a lot more confident with a gold or a mithril um, sword, but... Okay, so now we've finished the quest. I can spend a few more hours just... Running around. Just got to be careful that I don't get complacent. And let myself go down too low in health. Because I will come back from being hit quite quickly. But at the same time... Still have to be quite careful. Right, which way are we going? Left or up? 
left, says me. Hmm, and of course left seems to be like the way. So let's go back and try it up. Oh, good grief. There's loads of yeah. Ow. Don't like these cactus guys. A bit annoying. Die, cactus dude, die. I like to wait as well to, between each floor, if I can. See, my, my brain is actually starting to hook into these now. To, to see when they're actually around. So that is just like a stone. Because the more of these I have, unordering me stones and the special stones and the rare stones and peculiar stones, la la la, the more likely it is that I'm going to uncover something nice and tasty for the museum. Did that tiny little slime turn into all those massive slimes? Or was it the other way around? the other way around. Okay, let's uh, get you. That's another small, like, smooth stone. There we are. I can't get to it. Oh, there we are. It's weird, isn't it? How all of us... I must have gone past so many before and I'm suddenly starting to kind of click into where it's, it's getting... I don't know why. Not that it really matters again, like if however many I miss, there's always the sprites are always gonna help me. So if you like me struggle to see them, the way around that is to put the sprites on the stone uh under in the cave that's just underneath Daisy's shop, which you should be able to uh, open as soon as you get, I think, an iron pickaxe. I knew this way this way was the way. I should get coal because we need coal like all the time. Literally all the time. Ah, sword would be helpful. At least those won't be shooting at me now. These drones are ultra useful. There's another one. We're at 610 at the moment. I'm wondering whether, well, maybe next time I come up to a way through teleporter, maybe then we'll, we'll head out. So I'll, as long as I'm not seeing round stones, I'm not gonna worry too much about mining right now. I've done quite a bit of mining today. Okay, I want to just uh, stay out of harm's way for a second there. I don't know why I take these down, because half the time they're back when I come back again. Everything respawns. sight of my character for a second there. That was kind of scary. I was like, where are you? That's mithril ore. We don't see too much of that in, in this level, so I'll grab it where I see it. I hate these red guys. They're really annoying. These guys aren't so bad. Ooh, look. A fancy stone. So when we're in here, we don't worry about picking... The oh, it's an iron shard as well. That's one closer to getting another red upgrade for my, uh, for my attack drones. Perfect. I 
wonder if we'll find any more pooklets in here, get a bit more HP. I feel like my attack is super good anyway, so I don't tend to go for attack too much. But I've got a really nice HP necklace if I do manage to get that, to, although it costs 15,000. So unless I get it from a quest or something, I get a bit lucky. I probably won't have that for a while, but there's one where you can wear two necklaces at once. That would be so, so good, because some of the necklaces are huge. Stat-wise, not like, you know, just like Mr. T's necklace or something. That man, bat that man had a big necklace, didn't he, to be fair? Right, oh yeah, there's another one of these. I am starting to see why people are complaining about me running quite because the amount I found now, surely I must have found that many before. And I have just must have run past so many. There's another one. And like I imagine if I at this point where I'm sort of sort of getting a bit more keyed into what they look like, saw someone else mining and running around and missing them all, I'd be like, ah, you missed another one! I do get it, I really do. Right, let's go get that before I forget. Got seven unordinary stones. I probably will break most of them open and just see like what I can get from them because there's always a chance I'll get something nice. Oh gosh, the spooklets are gonna be taking me home. I've got another day before I have to hand in. Oh no! It's the last day, shoot. I didn't find a teleporter room for ages and that's why it's taking me so, I was like, next teleporter room, I'll go back and hand that into Bram. Oh, it's not happening, is it? I'm not finding him in the next hour. Oh, that's a shame, but never mind. Considering all of the cool stuff I found today, I'm not too worried about the fact that we missed a few hundred. And um, what was the reward on that one? 382 is not too awful. We've gone so long without a teleporter room, hadn't we? Gee. I bet you there was probably one in the next room or two. Oh well, at least we'll try and make it home before the spooklets. Um, so Bram is, just in case Bram is somewhere nearby that we can actually, all the way over there. Not gonna happen. So I'm not gonna even try and worry about that. If it's still there to hand in tomorrow, it's still there to hand in tomorrow. If it's not, it's not. I thought I had a bit longer on it, but that's fine. There's always more quests and there's always more fish. And there's always more honey and there's always more things to sell. But we made some really good progress there. And I've got another iron shard as well, which is amazing because like I say, then I can get extra laser damage and extra things like that. So that's really helping. It's helping huge amounts. Okay, but with that, I have decided that we are going to be doing slightly shorter episodes from now on and I'm going to try and do them like daily if I can. So we're going to start stopping now at the hour mark. It depends. It's going to depend on the episode and depend on where I am, but I'm trying to do big batches at the moment. Um, so I think we're going to stop there. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. Hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.